Hey, it's Rob Jackson with Fandroid.com, and I'm here with Sprint's brand new HTC Evo 4G. Let's take a quick tour of the hardware, and then we'll dive into our impressions. The Evo has a 4.3 inch capacitive touchscreen that, in one word, is massive. Right above the Sprint logo, we've got a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. On the top, you've got the earpiece, and behind there, there's an LED status indicator light. Below the touchscreen, you'll see the typical Android home, menu, back, and search key. And on the bottom of the phone, you can see the micro USB connection and the HDMI video out that's capable of 720p video. And right up here, in the left of the bottom you can see the microphone for voice calls. Nothing on the left side of the phone. On the top you can see the 3.5 millimeter headset jack and the on off button. And on the right side of the phone there's the volume rocker. On the back of the phone we've got an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash and to the right of that you can see this speaker. On the bottom of the back there's this nifty little kickstand that just easily pops open and you can prop up your Evo on a desk or a flat surface in front of you. On the top of the back, you'll see this little groove here for pulling out the, the battery cover. And you can just pop the left side and then over here on the right, pull the rest. And it reveals the 1500 milliamp battery. And you can easily remove the battery by pulling on underneath one of these grooves on the sides. That's where you'll find the micro SD card that has a kind of unique mechanism. You want to pull up this little latch and then it makes a little space underneath. And from there, you can pull it out, I think, maybe. There we go. This is a 2 gigabyte micro SD card, but it actually comes with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card when you buy it from Sprint. Inside the phone, the Evo is powered by a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor and has 1 gigabytes of ROM and 512 megabytes of RAM. Despite being so huge, the Evo is still relatively light at 6 ounces and thin as well, only half an inch thick. The Evo comes packed with all the essentials you would expect from a smartphone, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1, digital compass, G-sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor, GPS, uh, it has a FM radio, which is a nice touch we're seeing on a lot more phones these days, so it has all the smartphone essentials. One of the Evo 4G's best qualities is the 4G part, and of course the hardware makes that possible, and we'll explore that a little more in depth with a speed test. It's pretty easy for me to boil down the HTC Evo 4G because of the fact that the HTC Incredible just came out from Verizon. I mean, it is a very similar phone and even down to this, you know, red ring around the camera and the fire engine interior when you crack open the case. The Evo 4G has some advantages. Um, little ones, like the little kickstand, but some bigger ones, like the 4G is a huge one. The front facing camera is a huge one. And then of course you've got a uh, 4.3 inch screen as opposed to a 3.7 so it bumps up the size and that really makes watching videos multimedia browsing the web awesome I mean it is great it is bordering on that line of too big if you have small hands I'd recommend you go into the store and play with the phone a little bit before you use it and I say that because if you're using the phone with one hand you're going to I mean you need the whole surface area, especially with the status bar of Android, and uh, actually we'll have to turn it on to to show that, but your thumb is once that needs to cover the entire surface area, so if you have small hands, it's a lot of surface area to cover. I mean, for me, 4.3 inches, I still like it. I would still recommend this phone personally. I mean, it's a preference. Uh, any bigger and I think it'd be a little too big for me. It's not too big in terms of pocketability. I mean it's super thin and it's a nice size. It's got a nice feel to it. It feels lighter than the Motorola Droid which is a smaller phone and actually let me pull that out really quick if I have it and maybe I don't. So there are the two compared with each other and the Motorola Droid is definitely heavier I don't, I think this is very usable. I mean, at some point you're, I mean, where's the line between smartphone and tablet or mid? I mean, I'm not sure where it is, but the Evo is starting to come close to edging that boundary. Um, so 4.3 inches, I think for me, is coming near the maximum, but it makes the experience of using my multimedia incredible. And, uh, and it'll be interesting to see if other manufacturers continually push that size as people want bigger and uh, bigger and stronger and faster and all that. But I think any bigger than this and, uh, 
and it could be a downfall. I don't think I need to go through all the features because it's pretty much, like I said, identical to the HTC Incredible except for uh, some main components. Um, this HDMI video out could be a really, really awesome feature. They aren't selling the accessory for this yet to connect it uh, to your HD capable TV yet, so I'll be eager to try that out when the accessories launch on June 4th. You've also are not really able to take full advantage of this 1.3 megapixel camera. Um, Quick isn't starting their service of video chat until June 4th, so we'll have a review for that. But this is really could change the way that people use their phones. Uh, and instead of you know talking to someone on the phone, um, it w you know you'll be able to just talk to them and look at them directly, even walk around, you know, your house or wherever with your phone and while you're talking to someone, aim this at whatever you want them to see and show them things. Uh, and of course, it's going to totally reinvent the nature of self pictures. Hardware wise, the HTC Evo 4G is the most powerful Android phone out there to date. I think it's the best Android phone out there to date, definitely for Sprint. I mean, it's between the incredible and the Evo 4G, and it comes to a matter of uh, two things carrier coverage and what's right for your area, and also extra features and services if you want uh, Verizon's NFL coverage, if you want Sprint's Sprint TV and stuff like that. But hardware-wise, this and the Incredible are neck and neck, and this really takes the edge with the HDMI video out with 720p video, the front-facing camera, which is really going to change the game, and we'll start to see this on a lot more smartphones. There are only two potential gripes I have with the phone, the first being if you've got small hands, the 4.3-inch screen might be a little bit too big for you, so you might want to look into that. The other is incredibly nitpicky, and you saw it when I did the uh, SD card removal, or I attempted it. It's not easy to get the SD card in and out. Really, I mean, first of all, you've got to remove the battery, uh, but second of all, when you pop it open, I mean, this is, it's tricky to get in here and pull it out, because you can't get your fingers around it, and it's just kind of annoying. But, I mean, that's just a, <laughs> I'm looking for you know, for things to complain about. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, especially since you're probably not removing your SD card too often. So, eh, a small minor complaint, yes, but hey, I gotta look for things to nitpick on. Overall, the Evo 4G is an amazing piece of hardware and another beautiful phone from HTC. So I would definitely, um, Right now, with the phones out there, give this as many stars as is possible on whatever star scale you've got. Evo 4G for Sprint.